cartoons where like the middle opens up and a bomb comes out the center of it and then it folds back. Mm -hmm. Um, And then in the wings, actually the wings had the, the wheel wells or I'm sorry. So like when the wheels would retract, instead of going up into the aircraft, they'd actually go up into the wings and then they would fold down. So that was like a very distinguishing um, um, mark of these Avengers. Um, I will say too, for these, these planes, I was reading about it. Um, they were actually perfect for landing in water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and like you could you could land them in water. Uh, you could take out your lifeboat mm-hmm. and not get your Correct. feet wet. I mean, granted, I don't think they were designed to float, but they could land in water to to the point where you could safely get yeah. out and everything. But yep. please continue. Um, so, yeah, so it was a, disappeared over the Bermuda Triangle in, on December 5th, 1945, after losing contact with the United States Navy overwater navigation training flight uh uh training flight from Na- uh, naval air base station fort lauderdale florida all 14 airmen were lost whereas all 13 member crew members of the martin b fly uh martin b uh, martin p b m a marine flying uh flying boat was sub- subsequently launched from Naval Air Station uh, Banana River to search for Flight 19. A report by Naval and uh, Navy investigators concluded that the flight leader, Lieutenant Charles C. Taylor, mistook small islands off the coast of Florida Keys uh, for the Florida Keys um, when his compass had stopped working, resulting in a flight over uh, flight heading over open sea and away from the land. The report was later amended by the Naval to read cause unknown to avoid blaming Taylor for the loss of five aircraft uh, and 14 men. The report attributed to the loss of the uh, aircraft to an explosion in midair searching for the flight. So interesting. reading this, what it seems like is that even people looking for them had issues. Mm. Yes. 